Welcome. Today is December 8th. This is the Mycroft DevSync. And here we are. Um, well, let's just jump right into it. Um, I don't really have any news for today. So, um, Chris Vare, why don't you get us started? Sure. So, uh, I did get a pull request for my device metrics code um, created today. So, Gaz, if we ever get not not huge, but if you get a few minutes um, to look into that, that'd be great. Um, and then once it's approved, I'll see what I can do about getting it um, migrated up the platforms. Um, so once I finished that, I started looking at um, some accounts um, and membership level type work we're, we're thinking about doing um, with some maybe some different membership types instead of just the one and you know what each membership type means. So um, we have a document that Michael and I are, are working on. I, I went through that today, added some thoughts. I haven't quite finished yet, um, but um, but yeah, once I'm done, done with that, I'll give even more thought to the technical side of it. You know, what, uh, you know, how, how do I need to change the database and and what changes need to be made to, to the Selene uh, APIs and UI to support the things we're talking about. So um, that'll be the rest of my day today and probably tomorrow. Okay, I'll try to get you some feedback on that um, tonight. Okay. I muted myself. Ha, Ken, how's it going? Oh, everything's going really good. So I got the uh, Rev4 board working. Everything's working, record and play and all the hardware. Uh, I had to refactor a bunch of stuff. I created a couple of new drivers for the uh, volume and for the LEDs on this particular board, created the new personality. That's all in there. Uh, I sent Gez a list of loose ends uh, for getting the Panacore image running. I uh, created a, a, a more detailed document for Gez regarding um, how Panacore can create the I2S stuff we need and what specifically has to happen with it. Um, I'm ready to do a pull request for all this stuff. I just wasn't sure where to go yet. Um, Gez, is that feature slash enclosure mark two? Is that the, uh, the branch you want me to be working off of? Um, yeah, I mean, I merged that into mark two into the feature slash mark two yesterday um, so that it could go through the, the CI build process. Um, so currently those two branches are uh, equivalent. Okay, but I had a hardware support branch. Is the code that I had in hardware support in merged in there or no? Yeah, yeah, that's, I, I took that um, because it was built for the sandbox image um, and had some like hard-coded file paths and things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I switched that over so that it can be used on Pentacle, um, and uh, that's that's what that uh, Mark II enclosure. Um, okay, so the point is, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put a pull request together, I put it together against feature slash Mark II enclosure or whatever. Yeah. Right? Okay, good. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll do that, and then tomorrow, uh, Derek should be able to. Um, bring up a Mark IV with a QT image in it. I can step him through over the phone how to uh, check out that code line that I'll be committing to with the latest pull request code. And then I'll send him over the hardware test code and um, he can actually test the SJ201 Rev4s with the uh, hardware test routine. I'll add, a, um, I'll add a record to it because I had problems with record. And so at least uh, this, because that tests LEDs and switches and volume, and now it'll test record as well as play. And uh, I'll get that to Derek in the morning um, and step him through that. So that's all ready to go. Uh, what is the demo meeting on Friday about? Uh, Josh will get to that during his his time. Okay. All right. Then that's it. That's what I'm I'm doing. I'll get that pull request uh, committed in the morning, and Gez can merge it and. Uh, Meanwhile, I'll have Derek working off it to test the uh, SJ201 Rev Force. All right, great. Uh, so, Gez, you're up now. Uh, yeah, as Ken said, um, I, I 
took uh, well, as I just said, I took Ken stuff and um, and tweaked it a bit to to work on Transcore and um, the SJ two hundred one like buttons and everything. Are now working on that device, so I can now you know turn the volume up and down and uh, with all the hardware buttons and everything. So that's good. Um, we had a regression with the the uh, audio recording is just a Polk audio permissions issue, so Panticle is having a look at that, um, uh, which I hope is not going to be. I don't imagine it's going to be a big, a big issue. Um, uh, but this is also this is still the Rev three, so obviously Ken's stuff for the Rev four isn't in there yet. Um, had a really good meeting with Blue Systems last night um, that I put notes about in the in the chat. Um, if you haven't seen those, uh, just a couple of dot points. Um, so there's some, some cool stuff coming down the pipeline there. Um, should really improve the response time of like the listening animation and things like that. Um, and uh, community. Merged, merged some, well, did some reviews of PRs and things like that. Um, but I think that's about it. Okay, great. Uh, and Derek. Yeah. So um, I've got uh, my SJ, or I've got the SJ201s that uh, Kevin shipped. I just got those about an hour ago. Um, so I've been putting one of them together and you can see now the board mounts underneath and it mounts with all four holes. So that's a little stronger. Um, power comes off the back. Um, physically everything's looking good. Um, I've got this new area on top where the camera goes. Up here, it's, I don't have it actually in there yet because I forgot it at the office. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it seems like that's going to work out. So what I've done is uh, also been going back and forth with Josh on the audio chamber. I think we've got a solution, final solution there. Um, he's going to test it. Uh, he's going to do a print. Um, hopefully he's got that started soon. And then um, putting together this SJ201 is kind of my last test of the laser cut um, hardware to see if everything's good there. Uh, so I already went ahead and uploaded stuff to update quotes. Um, so once Josh gives me the thumbs up there, I think we, uh, we're ready to order laser cut parts and 3D printed acoustic chambers. So yeah, and then um, just get want to get this one, I'll try and get two of them put together and start testing tomorrow with Ken's help. Awesome. Yeah, hey, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, I think the other thing is just helping review uh, parts that we're ordering. Like, um, I think I sent some stuff to Kevin to double check on the power supplies. And um, yeah, just helping out as I can with stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, great. And uh, Josh, um, you still around? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, wandering around here. The, uh, so we got most everything on order. I think the only thing that's on that hasn't been ordered that's over five dollars is the cameras, um, and they may have been ordered. I don't know. Um, everything else seems to be going good. We got international power supplies going um i'm going to review derek's stuff i'm actually going to make hand make another one of these here your audio just cut out the instructions on on the instructables and uh make sure that they they uh represent what we're actually shipping um I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I did book a demo for Friday, so I I called Panticore and I pinned them down on a delivery time and basically said, "Hey, look, like I I don't, you know, you pick the time, but I want to pin I want to pin you to it." 
So they picked, they said that they could be done Friday. So Friday we're going to do, and I want to start doing this on a regular basis, at least once a week. And I honestly, I, I think the developers should be doing it every day or every two days, setting up a Mark II from scratch, from a blank image all the way to connected to your account with, you know, being able to stream music and whatever. Um, we need to get that process 100% squared away. Uh, the the uh, metric for that is going to be the mom test. Um, if my mom can set it up, then then we're good. So um, with that, if Derek may remember a very painful video when we were originally starting to ship the Mark I where the device failed the mom test in a very spectacular way. Uh, so anyway, so we're that we're getting all that stuff exploded, done. But... What's that? That makes me think it exploded. No, she just she, you know, went through the whole process and ended up being like a fifteen minute video at the end of it. She put it in the box, put it back in the box, set it in the table, and said, "I can't make this work," and walked away. Right, and you know that's definitely not the experience we want for our end users. Uh, you know, my mom's not non technical. She's just you know, expects things. She uses Apple products, let's put it that way. Um, and then expects me to debug them, which I refuse to do. Uh, okay. Um, I wrote a script that converted documents from PDF to TIFF and then back to PDF to remove metadata, but um, that turned out to not have been the best use of my time. And uh, the other thing we came up with, um, which we talked about in the beginning of the call, was starting to think about how we can reuse the Mark I molds to go ahead and ship a, a Mark, uh, an update of the Mark I later in the year. So we're having some conversations about that. Uh, Derek, once this thing's fully nailed down from, from your perspective, um, we need, so Michael and I had a conversation today and it, it seems like sending these molds out to China might not be the best, the wisest course of action for us. So, um, we need to get together here really quickly, get on the phone with uh, Zero Tolerance and, and start the, the mold making process for the Mark II. So we need to pin down the, we need to pin down the design and be done with it. And we need to, to get the 3D drawings off to Steve so that he can start making molds so we can start shipping in March. Finally, I've done some work. I'm writing a plan, which we'll probably talk about at the marketing meeting um, related to uh, how we, we tie in some promotional stuff to fund the patent suit with the delivery mechanism of the Mark II and how we start queuing up people to ship the Mark II. Um, you know, we're, we're only going to be able to produce those at a certain rate. We, you know, obviously we want backers to get those units first. By the same token, we have had some very significant financial challenges um, show up that uh, make it a lot harder for us to do that. Like paying patent attorneys hundreds of thousands of dollars turns out to you know be expensive. So we, you know we're looking to work with the community to to help us to to fund that and to provide some perks for people who are willing to um, kind of go to the back of the line for delivery or um, are willing to to step up and and jump to the front of the line by by taking some additional products. So. We're having conversations about that. The goal is obviously to deliver to our backers exactly what they paid for, um, even though it's a little late and ideally something that's better than what they paid for. So that's what we're aiming towards. However, you know, the financial reality on the ground is that we ran into some patent trolls that have burned a substantial amount of money. So that's me. All right. Uh, okay. Well, thanks. Um, it's a good update. And seems like everything's, you know, moving forward at least. Um, I don't have um, much of an update from Kevin. We, uh, we're going to touch base later today uh, about um, the SJ201 production. So I'll hopefully have some uh, actual information about that tomorrow. Um, so that's it for me. Uh, anything else that um, people want to bring up? Or... Yeah, I wanted to, to say that um, kind of in line with what Gaz said about the, the Blue Systems update, uh, I had a response, several responses. We went back and forth a little bit on that. But one of my responses um, was an idea that I think I'd like to, for you all to kind of look at that about how we, we deal with um, device skills um, and maybe make them less device specific <laughs> um, going forward. So just, you know, as you're reading through, get the stuff, read through that and provide any feedback. Okay. Sounds good. we Will do. All right. Anything else? All right. 
Okay, thanks everybody. Until tomorrow.